So you both, you actually both interact with this process, but in different ways, because you're a, a citizen advocate, you're with the city, so can you just talk a little bit about what that engagement looks like? And yeah, so there's kind of the two paths of engagement that Ellen was talking about. One is um, from an organization like CUB, or the city of Minneapolis, or even Excel, or a state agency, where we have the ability to like make it our job and go through the formal process and dig into all the nerdy details. Um, and that's, it's really like very expert driven. Um, and it is a public in, in that anybody can log on to this eDocets website and read everything on the record, but like who's gonna figure out how that thing works and go read 3,000 pages? Uh, probably not very many people. I don't know, it's so, still open. I mean, what else can <laughs> yeah. We don't have plans later, we can yeah. do that. Um, but there's always an opportunity for public comment from like regular people that have lives. Um, and groups like us will try to distill down the issues and help people understand, you know, here are the main questions that the PUC is, is judging on this case, and here's the evidence as we see it. Um, and like here are the opportunities. There are particular public comment periods in a lot of these cases where you can write up your email um, and get it on the record, and what's on the record, they officially have to consider it. And I have seen um, commissioners actually come to a hearing with a stack of public comments and actually read from the ones that they thought were powerful. So I have seen it make a difference. I'm not saying that it makes the difference in every case, but it certainly can. 